All right, let's talk about a team that will have to face the Chiefs a couple times there, uh, the Broncos, because the AFC West is daunting. Look, as soon as the Broncos got Russell Wilson, uh, their odds skyrocketed. I believe they're 16-1 to right now to win the Super Bowl. Uh, their fans would get a... A euphoric high, I guess, if they were to win the Super Bowl. They might be looking for a different high if they lose the Super Bowl or don't even make it. Why will the Broncos not win the Super Bowl? I guess that's okay to say because they play in Colorado. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, sure, that works. Um, <laughs> the uh, it's look, legal I think there. That Russell, right, just keep just keep moving, Brinson. Uh, look, I think that you can make the case that Russell Wilson, I know this is a bad reason why they won't win the Super Bowl, um, He's a new quarterback in town. Like, it's not easy to switch teams, even though the last two Super Bowls have been won by players who did just that, and Matthew Stafford and Tom Brady. I'm just trying to find reasons here, folks. You know, Russell Wilson switches teams. It's a new, you know, it's a new chemistry with new receivers. And, you know, it's, you know I, I think that that can at least be a concerning factor. And then I think you also can uh, put on top that, you know, you have a new coach in Nathaniel Hackett. That's sort of one of the bigger differences between the 2022 Broncos and the 2021 uh, Los Angeles Rams and the 2020 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Remember, Tom Brady got dropped into a team and Matthew Stafford, same deal, both dropped into teams with, you know, in place infrastructure in terms of the coaching staff and the front office and all that and things are really in a little bit more you know turmoil not turmoil but you got some some turnover when it comes to nathaniel hackett coming in we don't know how he's going to do as a head coach it's his first time it is a different job than being an offensive coordinator particularly if you're thinking about calling the plays so i think that combination of new quarterback and new coach could be a particular problem for the broncos and then if you want one more reason how about that division I mean, that division is stacked. Talk about the Chiefs and the Chargers and the Raiders and the Broncos. I mean, you know, if you don't win the division, you think about what kind of path you have to get through the playoffs. Like if, if, if these teams, it's gonna be really tough for any of these teams to become the number one overall seed and to get that by to get into, you know, which gives you a massive advantage in today's modern NFL. So I think the AFC West absolutely could be a beat each other up situation that results in those teams struggling a little bit, you know, when you get to the postseason. Broncos and Chargers, same odds in the division at plus 250, same odds. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.